YouTubians, what is up? My name's Eli. Welcome to another video here on my channel. The other day I came home and I had this box waiting for me. I've been wanting to get a revive deck for a while, but I'm cheap and didn't want to spend any money. I finally broke and got myself a little gift. I'm going to be setting up this new deck today and also giving you guys six tips for the beginner skater. I think I'm qualified to give these tips because I myself am a beginner skater. I'm coming up on a year of skating and these are just some of the tips that I picked up along the way. So let's unbox this thing. I'm super excited. Let's check it out. I ordered some am grip to go with it. I've been skating am grip for a while and I like it, so I'm gonna stick with it. Let's check this out. Ooh, I'm loving the pink top ply. That is flashy. And boom. Look at this thing. This thing is beautiful. That is satisfying. Get rid of that. Look at that. That's nice. So my current setup is just from CCS. It's the setup that I've been skating since I first started. I needed something cheap and that's just what I went to. These are 139 trucks with 54 millimeter wheels. These are just like CCS bearings. They have been skating and grip, like I said before. So I'm gonna start taking these apart and give you guys the first tip. So tip number one is you will fall and you might get hurt. Unfortunately, it's just a part of skating. It's almost impossible to learn new tricks without falling down. It really is just a part of it. If you are kind of scared, wear a helmet, get some pads. I know a lot of people feel weird about wearing a helmet and wearing pads. At the beginning, I felt kind of weird wearing a helmet too. I thought people were gonna judge me. At the end of the day, I decided that I really would rather not crack my head open. I've worked with people with brain injuries. I see what it does to you and I don't wanna be doing that to myself. So I slap that helmet on. I know it's a possibility that you are very likely gonna fall down. Usually what I do to get over that is I just take the bail, I take the slam, and then I usually see that it's not as bad as I think it's gonna be. It's really just a mental barrier. Once you get over that mental barrier, it gets a little easier. What the hell am I doing? And also I learned that with time, you kind of learn how to fall a little better so you're not hurting yourself as much in the beginning. I was really slamming down on like the easiest things. One of the things that I learned is to bend your knees more. You're less likely to like slip out and kind of die. It's been helpful for me. It's still something that I'm working on. Sometimes I forget and I slip out. But yeah, just keep that in mind when you're out there skating. But it is one of the unfortunate aspects of skating. I'm gonna mark these so I don't get it mixed up. B for back. Tip number two is skate as much as you can. Try to skate every day if it's possible. The more you skate, the better you're gonna be, the more comfortable you're gonna get. It's really overall just very helpful. Plus it's really fun, it's a good time to get out there and skate, get some exercise in. Getting the second set of trucks off, getting pretty excited to set this new board up. Oh, That's two, you'll find these things. I just almost took the entire camera setup down to try and fix this. Okay, I think that's okay. Getting back to it. Let me mark these. I'm gonna give these a wipe down since they're already out. Why not, right? Tip number three is gonna be get yourself a decent board. Now, I know not everybody has the funds or is financially capable of doing so, but if it is something you can do, I definitely recommend it. I guess technically you can learn on like a Walmart board or whatever, but you can definitely feel the difference. It doesn't roll as well. The concaves are usually really weird. It has weird pop. There are some places online that you can get complete for like 90 bucks or so. I think that's kind of what I paid for mine from CCS. You will be able to see the difference and feel the difference. I personally believe that you will progress a lot faster with like a decent skateboard. Man, I cannot get over how beautiful this thing is. Let's set it up. Time for grip tape. I'm not very good at gripping the board, so don't judge me too harshly. Let's see if I can get this right. If 
By the way, this is a 775. Not too bad. Okay, worst noise ever coming up. Okay, I got it sanded down, and now I gotta focus to trim this thing off because I tend to mess that up. Okay, here it goes. Okay, that wasn't too bad. It's probably the cleanest grit job I think I've ever done. I am really loving this pink top ply. All right, let me sand down these edges. Beautiful! That is looking real good. Let's get these trucks back on here. Okay, tip number four is gonna be watch trick tutorials. Watching trick tutorials is super helpful, or at least it has been for me. Trick tutorials really help me understand the mechanisms and the physics of tricks. There are like hundreds of trick tutorials out on YouTube. You can watch it for free. It really is kind of a gift for people who are learning how to skateboard or need help trying to learn a new trick. Sometimes you don't have friends who are a little better at skating than you who could show you how to do these things. I think we're pretty lucky that we have the YouTube community that kind of does just that. They're kind of like our virtual skate homies. Also, sometimes I just get inspired to try new tricks just by watching different trick tutorials or just skate videos in general on YouTube. I'll see something and I'll be like, oh, that's pretty cool, I can probably do that. I go out and try it, sometimes I get it, sometimes I don't, but it's just good inspiration to not get stuck on doing the same things that I kind of do all the time. That brings me to tip number five, which is learn something new every day. I'm totally not saying you have to learn a brand new trick every single day, but just build on the tricks that you already have. If you just learn how to ollie, try to take the ollie off a curb or up a curb or over something. Maybe just over something higher or a new obstacle that you haven't done yet. Maybe try to learn a trick that you already know switch or in fakie. Basically what I'm getting at is every time you skate, try something new, do something different. This way you keep progressing and you don't feel like you're getting stuck or you get bored doing the same thing over and over again. It feels really good to feel like you're progressing while you're doing something that you enjoy at the same time. And these like little victories are super helpful to give you that extra boost to keep going. All right, let's get to the next tip while I get these other trucks on. What number is that? I think that's six. So tip number six is gonna be record yourself skating. This was super helpful for me to see what I was doing wrong, to kind of be able to figure out where my mistakes were. It's also really nice to just keep track of your progression, be able to compare where you were at six months ago. Even just a month ago, sometimes the progression is is pretty fast and it's good to see where you're at also it's just pretty dope to be able to go back and watch you land like a sweet trick or something you've been working on for a while just to be able to go back and watch that is like a really really good feeling almost done let's get this truck on i've had such a blast skating it's crazy to think that it's been almost a year now i've learned so much not only just like learning tricks and stuff but really learning like different philosophies that i get from skating i've mentioned in other videos that like the idea of persistence was something that was almost like foreign to me. If things didn't come easy to me, I would pretty much just uh, move it along and keep going or find something new. But I enjoy skating so much. The fact that it is hard and that I do have to persist really is one of my favorite things about skateboarding. It taught me that if I keep going and keep trying and just keep giving it my best, that like, you know, I will eventually get it. I will eventually succeed. It's such a good feeling when you put in a lot of work and time and sweat and sometimes blood into it. And it's just so awesome to feel the victory. I've learned some life skills from skateboarding that I think I'd be able to take into just about any other aspect of my life. Okay, I'm finishing up. But I have a bonus tip, find skate homies. If you don't have any homies, go to the skate park, just talk to people, bring wax or a tool that's helped me sometimes to make friends. Having people you can skate with really motivates you to keep going, keep trying different tricks. Sometimes if you're skating by yourself, you just kinda 
give up after a few tries, but if your homies are there, they're gonna push you. They're gonna amp you up when you get the trick or when you get close. It took me a while. Oh, it took me a while to find people to skate with and for a bit there my girlfriend was the one who really kind of pushed me and supported me so I think that I'm a little lucky in that aspect because she's super awesome she'll sit and watch me skate for hours on end and just film for me and just pump me up when I land a trick or when I get close but having skate homies and people who skate with you there really is like a social aspect to it you know it just makes the session a little more fun a little more enjoyable because you're doing it with friends it's just a good time overall it is done guys check that out i'm super excited to get outside and ride this bad boy around get some clips for you guys on this i'm hoping to get outside today it's decent little cloudy but the weather isn't too bad this was my first board setup video and also the first video where i gave any kind of tips or anything like that these were just some of the tips that were helpful for me Hopefully they can be helpful for you too. I'm certainly not an expert. Like I said, I'm coming up on a year of skating and these things really help me out. So hopefully they help you too. I'm gonna put a lot of work into editing. Hopefully it comes out pretty good. Thanks for watching another one of my videos. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you wanna see more videos. I do a lot of persistence videos cause that's kind of where I'm at in my skate life. And I am rambling, so I'm gonna go. Peace.